All right, they don't. Okay, I'm back. This is like part six. They don't need me. Okay, I'm back. Okay, because so whatever they want, I try to help them. I tell them they're teenagers now, and I tell my teenagers, I'm not going to fight you. Uh, I'm your friend. I'm going to help you go through these horrible teen, teenage years. In horrible sense, the hormones make you go crazy. And I want to help them so they become wonderful adults and move out of my house. And make a lot of money, okay? And don't ask me for nothing. <laughs> In fact, take care of my old behind 20 years, 20, 30 years from now, okay? In 20 years, I'll be 67. In 30 years, I'll be 77. So I want somebody to take care of my old behind so I'm laying the groundwork now. So they, I, my children have, so have some money to take care of my old behind, okay? That's the plan. And that's what it's about. It's about the whole premise I was saying earlier is about goal setting. In the public schools, I talk to many, I talk to talk to the students and sometimes I talk to parents and I know other parents and I ask them how how are your children doing in school that's up to them I don't know it's up to them it's up to them and let me tell you something it sounds cold the better students tend to come from better homes very few people are born brilliant academically brilliant like Einstein or something uh, most people make it because they have somebody in the home demanding A's and B's Demanding they stay off the block, off the block. Demanding they cut off the damn TV and radio and do their homework. If you don't have a parent at home that's making you do your homework or helping you get a tutor to help you with your homework, making you turn off the television, turn off the video games, turn off the internet, turn off uh, the iPhone, the iTouch, and I whatever all these devices and stuff, and study hard, study long. I mean, read. If you don't have a parent or grandparent someone at home doing that for most people it's not going to happen I, I mean some people I go to public schools and, and some of the teachers and the principals tell me they say Mr. Sam don't tell the kids the truth you're going to discourage them I say no you got to tell them the truth you got to tell them life is difficult and if you want it you're going to have to work for it I'm, I'm saying this from a lazy person I tell the students all the time I have a wonderful life but the goals I didn't achieve is because either I was not prepared or I got scared. I'm almost done. I love talking about the book. Uh, I really should move over here like this and put up Malcolm Gladwell's. Maybe I should put up here if I have time. I put up Malcolm Gladwell's picture, or his book, uh, uh, Outliers, which is a, let me move over here. Excellent book, Outliers. And if I have time, I'll put it up. We'll see. It's time consuming to do this stuff. And uh, uh, Outliers is an excellent book, and he says in the book, success is, the, is a gift. The children that go to a, there's a child that went to a, one of these KIPP schools, these KIPP schools, like a charter school, that's a gift. Uh, uh, Bill, uh, Bill Gates was born in 1955, who had a computer in, in 1968 when he was an eighth grader. That was a gift. It was a great opportunity, and he saw, took full advantage of the opportunity, worked hard, and the rest is history. Success is a gift it really is if you understand i've had plenty of opportunities but i know i had to work hard to really take advantage of them <laughs> i'm lazy so i didn't and here we is so that's why it's important for you parents grandparents aunts and uncles preachers potentates whatever to really encourage these children i'm winding up to encourage these children i go to the public schools via the black star project look them up on the computer black star if i have time i bring the number up Black Star Project, I, go to, I do the student motivation thing. And I only see the students for like 10 minutes, 20 minutes at a time. But the older ones, especially eighth grade on up, I tell them, do not have any children. Please, do not have any children. And set goals. Set your goals, okay? A lot of kids, they want to have children. It's ruin your life. Wait till you're 25, 30 years old to have children, okay? But you're young, go to school, have fun. Go to college, go to, go to school, have fun. Whether you go to a two-year two -year college, four-year college, whether you get your master's and your doctorate, go on, get your, get your education, and, and have some fun too, okay? Hold off from having the children. That's the number one thing to stop the crime, stop the drama, stop the murders, is tell young people do not have any children. Do not have any children until you're old enough. I became a parent. And uh, I became a dad at, uh, at 31 years old, 31 and 33. I'm a better parent at 47 than I ever could have been at 17 or 27. Do you understand? My children uh, get the benefit of the 47-year wisdom. My children are smarter than me, like your children are smarter than me, your grandchildren are smarter than me, but they ain't wiser than Mr. Sims. I have wisdom, and don't mistake knowledge for wisdom, okay? Like a wise person told me years ago, he, he said, uh, knowledge comes quickly, but wisdom takes time.
Yes, wisdom takes time. So that's that's what you tell, and you gotta pound that into the children. When I go to public schools, I tell the students, in 10 years from now, Mr. Sims be 57 years old, you'll be like 25, 26, 10 years from now. 27, 10 years from now. Will you live in Chicago, New York, LA, Houston? Will you live in the city of suburbs? Will you be married or single? Children, no children? College, no college? What is your career? Write it all down. Write down all the people you wanna meet. Write down the places you wanna go. Write all down the things you wanna do, and I guarantee you, you will get your opportunity. I guarantee you, you get your opportunity to make all your little dreams come true. I'm not guaranteeing it's going to happen exactly where you wrote it down, but believe me, you will get your opportunity. And when your opportunity comes, will you be prepared? As Whitney Young says, the famous Whitney Young Jr., Whitney Young Jr.'s famous quote is, let me say this right, it's better to have an opportunity, at, no, it's better to be prepared for an opportunity and not have one than have an opportunity and not be prepared. Do you understand? Preparation, preparation, because it's frightening. I've had opportunities to be rich and famous. I always wanted to be rich and famous, but I've had so many opportunities to be rich and famous, and I got scared or I just wasn't ready. <laughs> Even in my age, there's still opportunities before me, and I have to prepare myself. And we should all encourage each other to be better people and prepare ourselves for the wonderful life that we will receive over time. Give me a call. Get, call me. 507072. Give me a call. Go to your go to your high school, grammar school. I've been doing this for like 15, 16 years. We chit chat. And when I go to your grammar school, I'm talking about being a parent. People, little kids argue with me about being a uh, parent. What I do, I'm kind of strict on my children. I'm kind of strict on them because I want them to be upper middle class. I make no bones about it. They got to go to at least U of I, at least University of Illinois, or some equivalent school. No offense, no Chicago State. No city colleges. Those are great universities. That's just the standard we set in our home. That's just the standard we set in our home. I make no apologies about that. What are the goals for your children? What are the goals for your grandchildren? What are your goals for yourself? Give me a call. We can chit chat about it. Call me in the weekends at free nights and we don't call me during the week. Call me in the weekends at or late at night, 507 0724 773 Uh thank you. <laughs>